Death is the final punchline at the end of everyone's life. Though not everyone gets to laugh. You'll reach your own end soon enough. But this story isn't about you. This story is about the humble town of Flatwood Peaks. You'll find a variety of pleasant folk, including one young lady named Penny Dewood. Penny is just a regular person with a regular job. But big dreams and an almost disturbing interest in the morbid. Oh, you might be thinking, aha, I know where this story is going. Penny will start climbing the corporate ladder at work, eventually leaving to start her own competing business, buying out her own boss, and later on in her mid-forties, realizing that all the wealth she'd accumulated could not buy back the friendship she'd sold out in her obsessive quest for corporate success. <sighs> that story isn't going to happen. I don't know why you thought that story would happen. It really says more about you than it does about anyone else. The reason that story isn't going to happen is very simple. Penny Dewood is about to have her whole life flipped. Excuse me, dearie. Behold, mortal! You have entered the domain of the dead! To where would you like us to send your restless soul? Perhaps it shall reside in the jar of endless torment! Or, for a nominal fee, mayhaps into the wooden closet of hell to be lowered into the very maw of Hades himself? Let me just check my husband's will. <clears throat> Mrs. Doward, while I do appreciate your, um, passion for performance, I'm afraid this is one egregious step too far. Come on, Halloween is in a few weeks. Right, but this is a funeral home. You're fired, Penny. Well, you can't fire me. I quit. You can't quit, Mrs. Doward. I just fired you. My quitting is retroactive, boss. How's that taste? Hey, Penny! Come on, boyfriend. Future Penny can easily find a new job tomorrow. But for now, present Penny is in a bad mood and wants to cheer herself up. And food, movies, and smooches are gonna be perfect! Hey, can you drive? All right, rest in peace, past Penny, who had a job that didn't let her have fun. Next stop, anything but that. So you're keeping the demon horns? I like them. Yep, best part of the uniform, and I have to pencil it into the dress code. And don't worry about the job. You'll probably fall into a new one within the week. Ideally, it'll be the one that lets me keep the spooky Halloween theme. Yeah. Hey, the fog's getting pretty thick. Oh, what the... Whoa, are you okay? Fine. Not hurt at all, actually. That was really lucky. Good. Take that, Death! We better get back before the fog gets even thicker. We can take care of the car later. Come on, let's cut across the graveyard. Really? We almost died once today. What are you, afraid of ghosts? Penny, if a real ghost appeared, you would probably be a little afraid. Nah, i just say, Ah! Holy crap, a ghost! And then be totally cool. Classic me. Ooh, a mausoleum! Let's check it out. I don't know. As you can see, it's perfectly safe. Ah! Oh, 
Penny Dewood had just been fired. This was not the first time she'd been fired for, in her words, just trying to liven things up, but it would be the last. Deciding not to let a funeral home bring her down, Penny drove off with her boyfriend, Elliot, to try to have a fun night out. And were it not for someone, or something, appearing on the road in front of them, she might have succeeded. Seeing something on the road, Penny did the sensible thing and crashed her car into a tree. Luckily for Penny, this didn't kill her. Unluckily for Penny, sneaking into the creepy old mausoleum for makeouts afterwards, only to crash through a rotting floor and fall to her gruesome death, did kill her. The end. Thank you for playing. There is no moral. Okay, fine. It, while, as the player controlling the game, you're technically responsible for everything that happened here today, I don't blame you. Instead, like Penny, I'd like to offer you a second chance. What? Where am I? What happened? <gasps> Holy crap! A ghost! Welcome to the land of the dead. <laughs> Cute. No, see, there must be a mistake because I am an alive human. Ah, denial. The first stage. You get through it. After that, there's anger and bargaining, both fun, and then depression, honestly a drag, but then acceptance. Okay, good luck on your journey. I'm not in denial! I deny it! Mate, don't you think you have something you need to be doing? Hey, welcome to the party! Sorry, not dead. Also, not in denial. Hey there, newbie! Don't forget to book the spa early if you want a place. It fills up with ghosts fast. I'm not a go- Wait, there's a spa? Well, there's a cesspool of tears. Can't miss it. It's always screaming. Somehow. That's not a spa. Right, and you're not a ghost. Apologies, Lady Elder Doe, as I'm sure you know, staffing is an issue here, and we're all doing our best under very difficult circumstances. Now, if you've got a complaint, Form XG-532-7 can be filled out, and... Yes, I've got a complaint. I've been stuck here with unfinished business. You need to fix this right now. I'm telling you right now, if you don't, I'll... <sighs> Again, Lady Elderdale, if you've got a complaint, the wonders of Form XG-532-7... I'll... I'll dash you. I'll... Hey, sorry to interrupt, uh, whatever this is, but I think there's a small chance I may have died, um, somehow, and... Wait, what are you doing here? Demons aren't allowed on this level. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a demon. I'm actually just... Oh my gosh, the temp I ordered! Finally! The temp? The temp! Finally, after 1,825,911,238 hours without a break, I get a vacation! Oh, the moon, here I come! The... the moon? You've never been? It's the one place near Earth where nobody has ever died. No ghosts, no demanding restless spirits, just a peaceful wasteland of rest, relaxation, and rock collecting us over 300,000 kilometers from the nearest soul. Can't 
Wait. Uh, You'll need this side. Okay. And this cloak. Company policy. But and I'm sure Lady Elderdo can provide any training you need. She clearly believes she knows what's best for everyone. Why you? You insolent. Well, goodbye. Death is going on vacation. They didn't give you any training at the temp office, did they? Uh, no, because typical. I'm not... Just typical. All right, I'll give you the basics. See those ghost critters? I need you to catch them. Throw your scythe up there, then use its switcheroo powers to teleport yourself right to it. <laughs> Wait, this thing teleports? No way, no way! That's awesome! I can definitely be the temp lady. Right, you're not as completely useless as I'd feared. Uh, thanks. It's time to possess a human. Possess? Like actual crawl on the ceiling while vomiting possession? That's rarely necessary. See that chap? Once you have enough ghost critters, try possessing him. Insane! I'm actually inside this guy's head! And there's all these things I can pull! What does this do? Living the Pokemon is here! Man, I'm the best at naming ice cream flavors. I can name 50 of them, no problem. Including two secret flavors from the government. What are the secret government flavors? <laughs> yeah, right! Like I'd tell a voice in my head that. Nice try, telepathic ice cream cone. Huh, seems like you learn all sorts of useful things while mind reading. And less useful. Now, what happens if I push here? <laughs> this is fun! I will have to kill you with my mouth. Get in my mouth! Ooh! Doesn't. Oh no, I just imagine human skin with cavities in it. It's horrible! I oh, don't no, I did a thing! <laughs> Come on, you! Hey, hey. hey you! All right, that's enough, Temp. I'm pretty sure I got murdered. I remember getting married and then, bam, Corpse City. Oh. I can't move on until my killer is brought to justice. I'm freezing my bum off, so I'm in some place cold. And it smells like, I want to say, TV dinners? Go find my killer, Temp. I have a feeling you should check my bridegroom's mansion. It's up in the forest. You got to cross the lake. That way. Oh, so that's how come nobody can escape death. There's a magic map on his scythe. It all makes sense. Secret mistress has caught your eye. Huh? Why, the Boatland lover. Named her myself, I did. After me mistress. Who, incidentally, I absolutely did not want my wife to know about. You know, I would have guessed building a boat that you effectively named the SS I'm having an affair. I'd have tipped her off. Oi, <laughs> that it did. <laughs> oh, me wife murdered me in a jealous rage. Nicked me before I could finish painting my boat. 
Well, the planks need now or a fresh coat of paint, and I could finally rest me weary bones in peace. <laughs> The old paint factory over yonder may still have a wee drab of paint for ye. Hey, did you notice that weird ghost hand up there? I'm pretty sure I saw it grab a monster. Thanks for the tip. Uh, need any hand with that fire on your head or... Trying, but it'll take something with a little more chutzpah to get inside his head, dearie. Have you seen any of those rare ghost critters around? I know I've seen some up by the forest, but I can't quite remember where. I am the best at cooking anything in this foolish village. Urge to poke. Rising. I could eat an infinity of these if I wanted to. No problem. I'm probably the best person at eating ice cream in the world. I looked into it. much the best ice cream I've ever eaten. Oh no, I just imagine human skin with cavities in it. It's horrible! Oh no! Sheena, think of something else! Uh, puppies and rainbows! Puppies and rainbows!
I've heard tale the old paint factory over yonder may still have a wee drab of paint for ye. Where's this coming? Flavor swirls of victory! Alright! Oh, sweet! Ooh, nice! This is pretty much the best of the day. Did the black mask? All oh, right. Who dare? Who dare? Who dare? Yeah. Day. Who?
Permanent. Urge to poke. Rising. A poke or a blow. Ghosty hand just moved it to the other side. Neat. I still wield my sh <laughs> You'll never succeed, Black Master. Only my cuss bitch this rocks! Looks like this dentist is armed to the e
Probably shouldn't be running, but I don't care. <laughs> We're off to get married. We'll be home for tea. What? Again? What is that, number five? What was wrong with the last bride? What did she say, my love? My ears aren't what they used to be. Nothing, my dear love, nothing. My dear old mother was just speaking out of turn. She was sneaking out of ferns? Oh. Oh, my. We are so awesome! Super Dentist approached the evil plan. You cannot help! Super Dentist. Give me snap! You! But that was fun. Ahem. 
very beloved, we are gathered here today to marry the wonderful, gorgeous, talented Priscilla and George, right? Quite a name, God of you, George. And we're here to join these two in loving matrimony. Should anyone know any reason why these two, the lovely Priscilla and this other guy, should not be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. Don't be shy. Just come on up and speak now. Sure felt good. Here we go. What are you out for practicing? Huh? Hey, what? I don't want to lick anything! Uh, disgusting! Not nearly as delicious as it looks. Now I've got to rub the paint off on something! Happy today. Oh, it was my pleasure. Ooh, but let an old ghostly sea dog give you a word of advice, eh? I'd wager my last jib sheet that uh, it's the husband that killed Lady Eldado. And if I were you, I'd set a spyglass upon him there. Thanks. I, ah, secret mistress. I love you, secret mistress. I'll leave you two alone. Take my boat. Go investigate the husband's house up in the forest. Something fishy is going on there. 